if you have never been afraid in your life it's either because number one you're a liar or number two you have not lived long enough storms can shake even the great when Jesus was on his way to the cross, the Bible tells us that he prayed. The Bible does not record that he was afraid, but we know that his humanity showed up and everybody saw it. It was clear. He said, Father, if it be thy will, take this cup off me. What would be the reason why he would be pleading that the cup should be taken off him? The cross was not just an easy thing for him to go and drop his hands and for the nails to drive in. It was more than the physical death. Storms shake even the great. Men of God cry, women of God cry, great people cry, encouragers cry. When storms come, it does not matter who you are, doesn't matter what your experience is. It can bring fear. The hearts of men can fail them. Is it not in your Bible that when Goliath rose up as a storm over the people of God, the warriors, these guys were masters. They were veterans of war. That was not their first battle. The Bible says their hearts failed them from the greatest to the least. None of them could dare Goliath of God, not even Saul himself. Until a young boy who came, who had been trained by God called David, that young teenager came and sought for permission to stand before Goliath. I know it's easy to laugh and dress well and smile and speak all the Christian languages and that is wonderful. The Bible demands that we become strong even in the midst of these things. But I can tell you there are some of you who are seated here right now. You're holding on to the last string of your courage, the last string of your faith. You are seated here right now and your landlord is sitting in front of your house too waiting for you to finish share the grace and come and meet him how about fees of children everything is increasing except your own revenue except your own finances let me tell you the truth storms can shake men it can bring you to a point where you ask where is god even the wife of job a woman purported to be strong she got to a point where she was weary she was exhausted discouraged no wonder the Bible says, have thou not known, has thou not seen the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. The Bible says he does not grow weary and he does not faint. There is no searching of his understanding that to those who are weak and weary and faint, he increases strength. The Bible says even the young men will be weary. Are we together now? Yes. Weariness is something that happens to all men in the presence of storms financial storms ministerial storms marital storms all kinds of things no wonder when angels appear to men are sent by god to them the usually the first words of the angels will be fear not fear not and for someone that is a prophetic word for you fear not i prayed that prayer for you last week i wish i would speak it again there shall be no loss in the name of Jesus Christ, it will turn unto you for a praise.